Hey there, fellow entrepreneurs. Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into all things of e-commerce and help you turn your business dreams into reality. In today's video, we are going to talk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your own sales channel in Shopify so you can maximize your online presence and start selling like a pro. So grab a pen and a paper and let's get your sales channel up and running in no time. But what is a sales channel in Shopify? All right, let's make this clear. You can use Shopify to sell your products on different online sales channels. Sales channels just represent the different platforms where you sell your products. By connecting each sales channel to Shopify, you can keep track of your products, orders and customers in one place. But what is an example of sales channel in Shopify? Your online store in Shopify is a sales channel itself. But why? Because you sell your products while keeping track of your products, orders and customers in just one place. To find sales channels in Shopify, log into your dashboard and go here at the left panel and you can see sales channels. And under sales channels, you can see here online store. Click on it and you can see your store and your store settings. So I guess you get it, what is a sales channel? But Shopify offers more than just your online store. So you can sell your Shopify products even out of your online store. To set up other sales channels beside your online store, go here at sales channels and click all recommended sales channels. Once you click it, you can see recommended sales channel from Shopify, like point of sale, Google and YouTube, Facebook and Instagram marketplace, and other sales channel. But these aren't the only sales channel that Shopify offers. You can go to Shopify App Store and find different interesting apps that offers you sales channels. So let's see. Click Shopify App Store and a new window will pop up. Now you can see the recommended sales channel, but also other sales channels too. Now let's go back at Shopify dashboard and talk about some informations. Now here you can see that the first sales channel that Shopify suggests you is Shopify POS or point of sale. But what is point of sale? Shopify POS is a point of sale app that you can use to sell your products in person. You can use Shopify POS to sell almost anywhere, including brick and mortar stores, markets and pop-up shops. Shopify POS syncs with Shopify to track your orders and inventory across your retail locations. Shopify POS syncs with Shopify to track your orders and inventory across your retail locations, online stores and other active sales channels. You can even view and manage your store's order from the app. The second one is Google and YouTube. The Google and YouTube channel automatically syncs your products and relevant information about your Shopify store with the Google Merchant Center. You can then update your Google product feed directly from your Shopify. For eligible stores selling in the United States, products synced to Google Merchant Center using Google and YouTube channel can appear in Google Shopping tab search listing for free. And the third one is Facebook and Instagram. The Facebook channel allows you to sell on both Facebook and Instagram. It also gives you important insights about the performance of your ads and customers. You can only use the Facebook channel if your online store is on the basic Shopify plan or higher. To start using Facebook channel, you need to set up a Facebook business manager that's connected to both your business Facebook page and ad account that has an admin role for the business manager. Besides these channels, Shopify offers many more shopping platforms that you can sell your products there. For example, TikTok, Linktree, List, eBay, Amazon, Pinterest. So first, let's go and activate the Shopify point of sale channel and see how it works. To activate it, just click this button here, add. And now you can see point of sale channel is added to our Shopify account. You can see it under the online store at sales channel and click on it. Now, as we start with a completely clean store, point of sale will require you to add products. But I won't add any product at the moment. 
So we will see only how point of sales work. Now here under the point of sale, you can control staff, location and settings of your point of sale. If you go to staff, you can see here that the store owner or account is admin and has POS app. You can add all our staff by clicking this button here and completing this information. For example, and set a POS role. For example, associate, limited permission or full permissions. I want to select full permissions. You can also show permissions he has. So this POS role can add custom sales, ship to customers, edit taxes, discounts, orders, customers, apps, analytics, and many, many other permissions. You have also to set a pin for that customer to log in to your Shopify POS app, or you can generate a random pin. And that's it. You can click save. And now you can see that the second staff is added successfully. You can also manage POS roles. You can manage the permissions of all roles or also create a new POS role. You can select the title, for example, shop manager. You can set it as default POS role. Allow all point of sale permissions for this role or just select point of sale permissions for this role. You can select them one by one, what's to deny and what's to allow for this role. And at the end, click save. But I didn't set anything, so I will click discard. Go back to staff. And now this is the management of staff in a POS app. Also, you can manage the locations of your store, but it requires a subscription. At the settings, you can manage the order printed receipts and subscriptions. At the order printed receipts, you can see how a receipt is printed after a successful sale. You can also edit this receipt. For example, you can upload your logo, your header text, footer text, show location address. For example, if you have set it in Shopify settings, show location phone number, and also order information. For example, you can show SQL codes for your every product so if you select this, every product next to it will have the SQ code. You can also choose if you want to show your barcode, for example, 1D or 2D barcode. Click save. And you can save this receipt only for this location or for all retail location. I want to save it for all. So I click save for all. Our receipt is updated. Now we can exit this page and go to point of sale. So this is how point of sale app works. Another interesting sales channel I would like to suggest to you is Linkpop. Linkpop is a free tool available to make a shoppable landing page that can be accessed through social media apps. Your customers can use Linkpop to view your other profiles on social media access links that you want to share and buy products using shoppable links. So let's go and set up it. Go to sales channels and go to all recommended sales channels. Go to Shopify app store and search for Linkpop. Now you can see Linkpop is shown below. Click on Linkpop and click add app. Now add sales channels and now Linkpop is added at our sales channels. So get started and now Linkpop will get your store details to create the channel. Click continue and select your store. Choose your page URL. I will leave as it is and click create profile. Now the page is published. You can see the page here, but as our store is completely blank, also the link pop page is blank too. So you can see. You can design the page from here. You can see the links. You can add products from Shopify, medias, other links, affiliate product links, or Amazon affiliate links. You can also edit the style. 
for example change the background length styles text and also you can add the bio click publish and now the page is published and there you have it an in-depth exploration of sales channels in shopify i hope this video shed light on the various avenues available to maximize your store's reach and drive sales implement these strategies watch your business thrive and remember to keep pushing the boundaries of your shopify success story stay tuned for more game-changing e-commerce insights in our channel till then see ya